country. When you cut taxes, I know you have to cut spending, but uh, but the the slice that came uh, many months ago. Uh, and don't forget, everybody's at fault here. There isn't a single Democrat or Republican or president in the last years that isn't at fault here. But I don't. Taxes are, are the, 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 the noble thing you do to enjoy the things that you love in America. You can't tax your way out of this situation, and you can't cut spending your way out of this situation. You have to have a plan. And and uh, with me, I didn't. I, you could look up my record. Uh, conservative American, whatever, I had one of the best records on conservatism and taxes and so on of anybody. I was better than Jesse Helm. <laughs> so it isn't a case of, it isn't, it's just a case of how, whatever happened to common sense. The most uncommon thing in Washington now is common sense. And so taxes, hell, how do you, how do you have in a single person in this country that isn't bitching about the federal, state, or local government. And when that stuff all kicks in and no taxes, no more taxes, state, city, county level, they're going to look around in five or ten years and say, whatever happened to the things that made me comfortable and made the system work and made our streets and schools the good things, whatever happened to those things? And they'll look around, hopefully, at Grover Norquist and maybe put a bus to play somewhere for him.